Out of those millions and millions, about 18,000 have played, been fortunate enough and good enough to play in the major leagues at the very highest level. And I just mentioned Paul Wainer is almost universally considered to be one of the top 100 players who ever played baseball out of these countless millions and millions. So you're really talking about something in rarefied air when you talk about Paul Wainer. It's not well known to most people today, but really, really a super great player and a very big celebrity in his time. After I got retired about 10 years ago, I started going to breakfast to a local diner in Murraysville, Pennsylvania, outside of Pittsburgh. It's a lot like a Dick's Harbor House or the Bemis Point Inn or something like that. And I struck up an acquaintance with some people. One of them was an older gentleman, was a really nice guy, got along very well, and he was a big baseball fan. So we talk and talk and talk, and uh, one day we're talking, and he says, you know, I saw that Paul Wainer play dozens of times when I was a kid and growing up, Forbes Field. And why hasn't his number ever been retired? I don't understand this. It's sort of a, a rite of passage that most great players get their numbers retired by their former teams. <coughs> well, I said, geez, oh man, I don't know, Tom. I'm not sure. He says, we ought to do something about that. <laughs> well, I said, okay, well, what can we do? I said, well, I'll do a little research. I knew about, about Wainer, but I said, I'll do a little research and I'll pull some facts together and I'll write a letter up and we'll sign it. So I did that, and I said, who we send it to? I said, well, how about the owner of the Pirates? Kevin McClatchy was the owner and CEO of the Pirates. In the summer or spring of 2005, we wrote this letter, which I'll just wave at you, you don't want to read it, and uh, sent it off to him, not having any expectations. Well, about a month later, a letter came back in the mail. He says, hey, this is really interesting. Uh, I don't know too much about Paul Wiener personally, but I'm going to have my research staff look into it, and uh, we'll get back to you. So that was really nice, not really expecting too much. Well, next spring, nothing's happened. I'm in my house one morning. The phone rings. Hello. Oh, this is Kevin McClatch, the owner of the Pirates. He says, we've looked into this, and this is really a great thing, and we're going to do something for Paul Wayne. We're, gonna, we're really going to do something for him. We're going to think about retiring his number, but uh, we don't know if we can do it this year because we've got a lot going on. So I said, this is really wonderful. I talked to him. He's very polite. Well, on the year goes and on the year goes, nothing happens. No announcements, no anything. The next spring comes. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Meanwhile, I keep sending him increasingly fervent letters. Why haven't you done anything? <laughs> this is an atrocity. <laughs> I'm burning up my goodwill right and left. You know? Well, the next spring, I'm sitting at home, and the phone rings, and, hello, Ron, this is Kevin McClatchy again, the president of the Pirates. And he said, I want to tell you that uh, we've made up our mind, we're going to retire Paul Wainer's number, and we're going to do it this July, and I want you and your friend to come and, you know, be at the game, not on the field, but uh, complimentary box seats and so on and so forth. And uh, this is just wonderful. So this really did happen, and they had a big ceremony for Paul Wainer, that we attended in July of 2007. His number was number 11, was formally retired. Uh, there's a big plaque up on the uh, facade. If you uh, go to PNC Park, they have all the retired numbers. There's about eight or nine of them. And Wainers is the most recent addition. And uh, it was just a really neat thing. Uh, McClatchy was a very, really nice gentleman about it. He really followed through. I did prod him a number of times, but he was unfailingly polite. <laughs> always got back to me. Uh, it was a great story. The only bad news out of it was that my good friend Tom, who started all this, died about four weeks before the Wainer ceremony. Mm -hmm. So he never got to go to it. But the good news was that his wife, his widow, did take uh, some of their family and they all went to it and uh, enjoyed it immensely. So uh, that's the story in a nutshell. Uh, just to, to finish up, Wainer just was a, a, a splendid ball player. He played for the Pirates from 1926 to 1940, and then played for the Brooklyn Dodgers, the Boston Braves, which Greg showed, and then back with the Dodgers again for the next four seasons, and then finished up uh, with a few games with the Yankees at the end of 44 and the beginning of 45. He had 3,152 career hits. That was the seventh most ever at that time in baseball. It's still 17th ever. 
His 333 batting average is 15th highest in Major League history if you only include players that have played from 1900 on. So this was a great, great player. And it was neat to be able to have something to do with uh, getting him a rightful honor. Thank so you. That's, that's the story. That's